Okay, so let me get this straight. Governor Cuomo from New York last year told us that the end of the world was going to happen. That if he didn't get 100,000 nurses and doctors and all these other things, that all his people were going to die. And because of that, places like New Orleans and other places that were surging didn't have enough stuff for them because we were doing an all-out battle to save New York. And now it comes to light after all those speeches enhanced by CNN every morning on television with his brother there and swabs up his nose and his brother lying about not coming out of the basement and his daughter coming and living with him and quote unquote her boyfriend that Mr. Cuomo doesn't like and his grandma who he's got a stolen ventilator in his basement for because his grandma or his mother whatever the heck that relationship is in that nosocomial gangster like family of extortionist government bureaucratic human beings not including or lesser than anyone in the Cuomo family including his ex-wife who allowed for this to occur for so many years he just found out his aides were intentionally suppressing the facts about the deaths that were occurring because of Cuomo's decisions to put people who were still sick back into the nursing homes even though they had no place else to put them at the time except for the mercy ship or the Samaritans oh that's right Mr. Cuomo we had a ship there for you buddy you could have taken them all out of the hospital put them on the ship quarantined them there you could have done tons of things you said that they weren't sick but you used your aides your aides that you were quote unquote now I'm quoting everyone else (laughs) and not you of course or your ex-wife or your brother those aides that you were sexually gross abusing touching talking about all those women those are the same women you bullied into telling the state not to release your numbers so you're running a government where you threaten people and you molest the women and then you hide the deaths of people and create a book behind it for the democratic cause of you being the new Fuhrer of New York you Stalinist hypocrite you you land grabbing guzzling gangster wannabe you murderous man you 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 attack the democracy of the world and say that you need eight billion dollars as you drove New York into the ground like a nail into a coffin you can stand there looking like something out of a a 1970s ad for somebody who's wearing a dime store suit and flipping a quarter on a corner waiting to be busted for some type of extortion claim while running a secret concrete company how sick why isn't Joe Biden fixing this. He wants to fix everything else, but he won't look at you. Your gangster-like styles through CNN have completely screwed New York. I wouldn't go there if it was on fire. In fact, I wouldn't go there if you got hit by a tidal wave and the whole thing was flat. I will never go to New York. You have ruined that experience for me. 9-11 9-11 was sacred day for me and between you and Giuliani and the rest of what you've done in New York I would never ever 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 go there I would go to Beijing naked I would go to Pyongyang I would go to Pyongyang naked and wearing a uh, Hawaiian Lu you know flower thing before I'd go to New York just disgusting people like you in charge hurting your people threatening people, hiding deaths, making books about how good you are. Look at me. I am the goodest person I have ever known. I am Cuomo. I am old Italian gangster man. <laughs> My father was an extortionist, wrote bad contracts, took advantage of the whole city. My family comes from a long line of thieves. <laughs> Come here, pretty girl. I will touch your vagina.